I grew up on a, on a ranch in a small town with six brothers, so I had plenty of brothers yeah. to, to throw the ball with, but uh, baseball for me was mostly getting away from the ranch and farm duties. Yeah. I didn't have to milk a cow if I was at <laughs> baseball practice, uh, so, so I, I spent a lot of time, all the time I could, at baseball for that. I remember going to a Boston Red Sox game when I was five years old and Jim Rice hit a home run and when I came back home all I wanted to be was Jim Rice and so whether it was my my dad or my friends down the street I was out in that side yard in our backyard playing baseball pretending that I was number 14 for the Boston Red Sox. Uh, it was really you know that experience that developed a love of baseball that I continued through Little League and to today. My love of baseball started with my dad um, who would come home from work at seven at night, dog-eared, tired. Um, all he wanted to do was take a nap and eat dinner and I'd be standing there with my glove to play. And, and he loved baseball. He grew up playing ball and so instilled it in me. It's passed on from generation to generation. I would play every single night and if he wasn't there, I'd throw it against the wall. Other neighbors thought I was crazy, which was probably <laughs> right, but that's okay. <laughs> Little League was really where it started. All my buddies and I from our neighborhood, we played ball anyway, but um, Little League was really when we really started to get into it. And the ballpark was across town, so we would ride our bikes as a group through all the streets to practice and then back home and then to the games as well. And when you're a kid playing Little League baseball, especially if the clouds start to gather, you know, all you're doing that afternoon is praying that you're going to still get to play the game.